All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Tiahawah, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakwadash. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully lick. <clears throat> Today I want to go into the book of Psalms, chapter 110. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. And this is the book of Psalms, chapter 110, a Psalm of David. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. And yes, basically what this is going into is the Lord in all caps is Yahweh. You know, it's telling our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, to sit at his right hand, you know. That's what that's going into. So, you know, Yahweh Shai is in, you know, the spirit realm, you know, in his glory, sitting on his throne until, you know, his appointed time to return to the earth to make his enemies his footstool, <clears throat> you know, to rule over them. Verse 2, the Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion, rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning thou hast the dew of thy youth <laughs> you. the Lord hath sworn and will not repent thou art in priest forever after the order of Melchizedek which is our Lord in the reincarnation the Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath he shall bring, so like he shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with dead, with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore, shall he lift up the head. And yes, you know, this is basically going into, you know, what's going to happen when our Lord Yahweh shot returns you know because once he returns you know he's gonna he's coming to it's lucky he's coming to destroy america babylon the great you know and take down esau edom because you know that's his top enemy you know esau edom because the romans were the ones that put him to death but also you know the two-thirds of the nation of israel that delivered him up to be crucified so, you know, two thirds of the nation of Israel have to be put to death, you know, for their wickedness. And the other nations, you know, that are left here in America, they're going to be destroyed. And whatever remnant of the other nations remain, you know, they're going to be brought into captivity, just like the remnant of Edom, you know, once the destruction passes, you know, once the Lord indignation passes. You know, that's what's going to happen. After he comes and brings his judgment, he's going to take the other nations into captivity, starting with the nation of Edom. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. To the next time I say Shalom.